Hey YouTube, Drone Tech here. Just as I'm starting to make this video, it's breaking that two of Jesse Smollett's friends from the show Empire have been arrested for possibly helping him to hoax this hate crime. That's right, another fake hate crime that has been exposed a week after the media seems to have gotten their pound of flesh out of the story. This after a Good Morning America interview with Smollett where he demonized skeptics of his story saying that if the attackers were Mexican or Muslim, everyone would have believed him. Then it became a thing of like, oh, how can you doubt that? Like, how do you, how do you not believe that? It's the truth. And then it became a thing of like, oh, it's not necessarily that you don't believe that this is the truth. You don't even want to see the truth. And Good Morning America really played him up as a credible victim, asking him, quote, how will you ever be able to heal? And adding that police said he was a very credible victim. It wasn't just ABC News either. The Washington Post hysterically printed, quote, too many, the Smollett incident. The political nature of the assault is yet another reminder for many black gay Americans that this president's vision of a great America does not appear to include them. It's outrageous that only a few weeks after the Covington story, the media once again jumps at the chance to confirm their narrative that America is filled with white racist bigots just waiting to strike at innocent Democrat voting minorities. Will they pay a price for this? Of course not. The only way that would happen is if the media launched a full-on offensive against themselves, which isn't going to happen. We don't know exactly what happened in this incident just yet, but yesterday after Smollett's interview on Good Morning America, police investigating the alleged attack said that there were serious problems with his story and that it was now being investigated as a hoax. A few hours later, we learned that his Nigerian friend's home has been raided. Now, these two guys actually worked on the show Empire with him. They were extras. Of course, you hear two Nigerian men and you think, oh, these aren't white guys. These are most likely black men. But Good Morning America actually put out a tweet uh, talking about the fact that these guys have been arrested. And there was no mention at all of their skin color. Which is kind of weird because the skin color of the attackers was central to their story originally. Now that the story is breaking down, they're not all too interested in describing the identities of the two guys who are now suspects in this hoax. And I ask again here, will any of these people pay a price? Will Kamala Harris be asked to apologize after she fanned the flames of this hoax on Twitter when she said, this was an attempted lynching. It would appear to me that the only lynching going on here is being done by Kamala Harris and her friends in the Democrat Party and in the media. She wasn't the only Democrat out there inciting this racial hysteria. AOC also chimed in, of course. She posted on Twitter saying, There's no such thing as racially charged. This attack was not possibly homophobic. It was a racist and homophobic attack. If you don't like what is happening to our country, then work to change it. It's no one's job to water down or sugarcoat the rise of hate crimes. The irony here, of course, is that it's her being the demagogue. It's her spreading racial hysteria. It's her dividing and all based on a complete hoax. And the thing is, she made that tweet right after the story broke. So she had no information and still went out there and, and put this inflammatory language out there that only serves to confirm people's kind of racial um, stereotypes and their preconceived notions, which are all things that if they were done to her or they were done to uh, other minorities by white people, AOC would have a problem with that. It doesn't even matter at this point that it's being exposed as a hoax because there's always going to be a certain percentage of people out there now that think that it actually happened. They're not going to hear the follow-up information. They'll just remember the initial headlines. Just like Hands Up Don't Shoot, just like the poop swastikas, just like the synagogues that were defaced by a black man, just like the Covington boys. This is what the media does, especially when it comes to racial issues. I always like to point to an example that happened during the Obama years when the tea parties were going strong and the town halls were going strong and MSNBC showed up to a town hall event where they found a black man with an AR-15 strapped to his back. It was an open carry protest. And what they did is they cropped the footage in such a way that you, all you could see was the guy's back and his AR-15. You couldn't see that he was a black man. And then they proceeded to have this whole discussion about how how this was proof that white people were rising up against a black president and this was racism on the rise. But again, they failed to show you that this was actually a black man who was anti-Obama and it had nothing to do with race. 
President Obama addressed the veterans of foreign wars in Phoenix. A man at a pro-health care reform rally just outside wore a semi-automatic assault rifle on his shoulder and a pistol on his hip. Yes, there are Second Amendment rights for sure, but also there are questions about whether this has a racial overtones. I mean, here you have a man of color in the presidency and white people showing up with guns strapped right. to their waists well, or to their legs. Mean, it's anger in this country about government, the way government seems to be taking over the country. Anger about a black person being president. It almost seems like they want to divide the country between what they call people of color and the colorless masses, also known as white people. People. see the media carelessly hyping stories like this all the time only to find out a week later that it was all a hoax but nothing ever changes rush limbaugh coined the term years ago the drive-by media and i think that he hit the nail on the head they drive by they do their damage and then they speed off into the sunset in a couple of weeks the story will be gone and they'll be moving on to the next fake hoax crime thanks for watching please like share and subscribe if you like my content and you agree with my message, consider supporting me on Patreon. You can find the link here in the description or in the pinned comment. Thanks.